going to present to you about the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood. I was talking about the Pre-Raphaelites in class and I thought I'll make a video so that everybody can see their paintings and understand more about them. So today, the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood. Who are the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood? They are painter poets of the 1840s. Mainly, there were three painter poets, D.G. Rossetti, Dante Gabriel Rossetti, William Holman Hunt, and John Everett Millay. They were students of the Royal Academy of Arts, that is in London, and they rejected the classical influence of the Renaissance. Now, the Royal Academy of Arts had a founder president. Joshua Reynolds. Joshua Reynolds had brought into Western art, into British art, the classical influence that started with the Renaissance. Joshua Reynolds, this is the man, it is a self-portrait. He was one member of the Johnson Circle, Dr. Johnson Circle. He was an overweening presence in British art in the 18th and 19th century. And uh, Joshua Reynolds upheld the classical style that started with the Renaissance in England. Let us take a look at some of his paintings. Joshua Reynolds painted portraits. He was a portraitist. And he belonged to the Rococo style. The Rococo style came at the end of the Baroque and the Baroque followed the Renaissance style. Renaissance, Baroque, Rococo, these are all classical styles. This is Joshua Reynolds' famous painting of Oliver Goldsmith, the playwright and novelist as well as poet. He was also a member of Dr. Johnson's circle. This is Dr. Samuel Johnson. Joshua Reynolds painting of Dr. Samuel Johnson to whose circle of friends Joshua Reynolds belonged. Now, what is up with Dr. Joshua Reynolds style? Not Dr. Sir he is. Sir Joshua Reynolds style. He painted in a smooth Rococo style and he always depicted elite upper class characters. And his style was highly academic. The Pre-Raphaelites later did not like this academic heavy style. And this classical style was not truthful. It was not a style that showed stark reality. It glamorized reality. It smoothened reality. The reality as it is with all its ugliness, with all its stark realism Joshua Reynolds did not depict. Now this classical style of Joshua Reynolds as you know began with the Renaissance. Let us watch some Renaissance art here. Let us take a look at some Renaissance art. The stalwarts of the Renaissance as you know are Raphael, Da Vinci and Michelangelo. This is Raphael's Madonna. In Browning's Andrea del Sarto, and Andrea famously says, look at Raphael's Madonna. The arm is wrong. I can easily put it right with a stroke because Andrea was a faultless painter, technically perfect painter. But Andrea dared not to do it because there is life in Raphael's paintings. This is the very famous Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. All this is classical in style and this is Michelangelo's famous fresco at the Sistine Chapel in Vatican, the creation of Adam. All these paintings that you saw just now are classical in style. They are heavily laden with meanings and ideas. They are not spontaneous or romantic. They are not imaginative. They teach something. They communicate about upper class style of life and its values. This was rejected by the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood. 
And what did the PRB do? The PRB was founded in 1848 and they rejected the classical influence of Joshua Reynolds that went back to the Renaissance. Instead, they turned to Italian painting of the medieval period before Raphael and before High Renaissance. They turned to Italian medieval painting. So there is a medievalism in pre-Raphaelite paintings and poetry. In pre-Raphaelite paintings and poetry, there are mainly two elements, stark realism and medievalism. The PRB revived the simplicity, truthfulness and the spirit of devotion of Italian medieval painting before Raphael. Their paintings are simple, starkly truthful and they show religious devotion. Let us see some paintings. This is Proserpine by D.G. Rossetti. Proserpine was raped by Pluto and there she is with her exquisite blue dress that matches her eyes famously and eating a pomegranate fruit. The pomegranate fruit was considered to be an oral contraceptive, it seems, in those days. And this painting clearly shows Proserpine after her sexual union with Pluto. Now, that is very vulgar and shocking for the Victorian viewers. In the late uh, Victorian period, towards the end of the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood period, Robert Buchanan therefore criticized him as not him, them, the group. Robert Buchanan criticized the group as the fleshly school of poetry because they showed a lot of sensuousness. They showed a lot of frank sexuality in their paintings. Stark realism. Look at John Everett Millay's famous painting, rather notorious painting, Christ in the House of His Parents. In the middle of this painting, you see a child, that is Christ, talking to his mother, Mary. Behind, you see Joseph the carpenter. These people are depicted in a very peasant-like manner. Look at Joseph's very common hands, very lean and his bald head. And famously, this painting also shows dirt under the fingernails. Wow, so shocking for the Victorians, especially in a religious painting. You can't see the dirt here probably, but in a real life-size painting, you can see it. Charles Dickens in Household Words famously attacked this painting. A lot of people criticized this painting. Why do you have to be so truthful? This is vulgar. This is bad. Fleshly school of poetry. See, John Everett Millay painted this. And this is Millay's famous painting of Ophelia. Ophelia has drowned from Hamlet, of course. There were two models for the pre-Raphaelites. One was D.G. Rossetti's wife, Lizzie Zidal. Lizzie Zidal or Elizabeth Zidal. The other was D.G. Rossetti's lover, who was also William Morris's wife, Jane Burden. These were called the two stunners of the pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood, the two models. Now, who are the PRB poets? I did not talk about them. First, we have D.G. Rossetti. He was from... Uh, a family where they spoke Italian at home because his father was an Italian expatriate. He studied painting and he also became a poet, of course. His very famous painting that you must have studied in school, in college, is The Blessed Damosel, which is about a woman who has died and gone to the gates of heaven and she is pining for her lover. This poem shows the union of flesh and spirit. He has also written a famous sonnet sequence, The House of Life. There are 101 sonnets there, I think. Dante and His Circle is a very famous poem by D.G. Rossetti that is also prescribed in universities. D.G. Rossetti's sister, Christina Rossetti, was also a very major poet. She was considered equal in caliber to Elizabeth Barrett Browning. And Christina Rossetti is very famous for Goblin Market. Again, a poem that shows sexuality as well as Christian elements. Their brother, William Michael Rossetti, 
was a poet and the editor of the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood periodical, The Germ. Very soon, I will show you the picture of the cover page of The Germ. So, these people formed a family. Dante Gabriel Rossetti, Christina Rossetti, William Michael Rossetti. Then we have William Morris. He was a very major poet of the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood as well. Like D.G. Rossetti, William Morris was also a painter and a designer. He wrote a number of different genres. He was not only a poet, he was also a prose writer, a novelist. He wrote uh, News from Nowhere. He also started the fantasy genre with a couple of works, fantastic works. A very famous poem that he wrote is the Adarian poem, The Defense of Guinevere. That is William Morris. Today, more than a poet, he is known as a designer. Then there is Thomas Woolner. I think he was the only sculptor among the Pre-Raphaelites. James Collinson. You may not have heard his name unless you looked up PRB. James Collinson was a founding member, a poet and painter, but he eventually left the PRB, it seems. Coventry Patmore is rather famous or notorious because he wrote the poem, the controversial poem, The Angel in the House, which depicted women as angels in the house. Virginia Woolf, very famously in Professions for Women, said that a woman writer's job is to kill the angel in the house. Coventry Patmore. He talks about the bliss of wedded love. So these are the PRB poets. Now take a look at their periodical, The Germ. It was not a very long-lived periodical. It was published only in 1850. The Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood existed only for two, three years, actually. 1850, for a few months, it was published and it was edited by William Michael Rossetti. So that is about the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood.